Hey everybody, today's daily tangle is Jonna, J-O-N-N-A, oops, excuse me, out of frame, by Sandra Hoffner. Um, this is a, a, a relatively simple tangle, looks like it can be done multiple ways. I'm going to try it on a wonky grid and see what happens. I'm not going to do the whole butterfly thing with it. I may do this variation though. I really, I really like that one. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, I'm going to give this a go, but I'm going to first draw myself a wonky grid. Um, wonky grid just means that uh, your your lines are still straight and they're but they may not be parallel. They may go other directions or they may have a slight curve to them. Um, it's still a grid. It's just not regular. So something like that. I wanna, I'm gonna try that and see, see what happens. I'm going to not use that one and I'm not use that one. So I'm just going to use the ones that are whole, that ended up being whole uh, rectangles. Okay, so, and I'm still feeling colorful today. So I'm going to go with pink. Shall I do pink? Sure. Why not? Okay, the pink is an 05 micron, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, so in each square, step number one, in each square, I'm going to actually uh, draw um, across this way and then on the diagonal. That's step number one. So we'll just start with that. And we'll do that in every one of these that, um, so I wanna go, I should have drawn this, you know, I think I'm gonna draw the grid go over my pencil and go ahead and draw my grid This one, and that one, and then some of this I'm not using, so I'm gonna carefully not, not put pen where I don't want it. Okay, something like that is what my grid's gonna look like. So I'm gonna erase the lines that I don't want just to get rid of them and out of my way. Okay. Okay, now I get to make in, I'm gonna start with the one that's most Nah, I'll start over here. That's fine. I'll go, go kind of in order. Make a, like a cross and then make diagonals in that space. Okay. And should I do them all the same direction? Or should I? Mix it up a little. I think I'm going to mix it up a little. I'm going to go ahead and put the this part in every square. And then I'm going to put my diagonals randomly. It may not be in the same place in each in each tile.
think that will work. It will be what it is, right? And you'll notice they don't all line up because uh, each of those grids is slightly different and I could have I could have lined them up but I didn't. That's okay. So some of these are going to go with the angle going this way and some of them are going to go with the angle going this way. I'm just going to mix it up. Just have to keep track of which one is a square. Right? Right. Uh, this one's going to go this way. This one's going to go this way. Some of them are going to go one way and some are going to go the other. And since I'm doing it kind of randomly, it's not really going to have much of a pattern to it, which is okay. It doesn't have to. It would look totally different if they were all going the same direction. Uh oh. Oh dear. Well, that might cause an issue. On this one, this should have been the square here. And I chose to do the square there. So now I have these that don't have anything and I have these that don't have anything. We will just have to make do. We'll do something with it. What, I'm not sure, but we'll do something. Alrighty. The next step on this is to actually do Am I missing one? No, it's because of that issue right there. Okay, so let's start with this one. And on this one, the angles went this way. So on this part of the triangle, we do like this, and like this, and then like this, and like this. And the official pattern has it going like that and then filling in triangle thusly. And putting a little circle in that fashion. Maybe a little dots. That's the official look. And I can understand why, if you did, drew it like that, why you would you would totally see butterflies. Absolutely. Um, but I really kind of like this this one with the angles. I'm going to do that in a big one here. Let's see. This one's a big one, and it goes. Oh, it was drawn with curves. I didn't draw any with curves. Well, that's not going to work. Alrighty. So we'll, we'll just continue to make butterfly-like shapes. That way and that way. This way and this way. I'll just continue. I'm just going to fill the whole thing with the pattern the way it was designed. They're just some going one way and some going another.
Is that right? Um, yeah, okay. No. So what I seem to have is drunken butterflies. They look like tipsy glasses of champagne or something. I don't know. I definitely have I definitely have a tipsy issue here. I've always got to do things off the beaten path. I don't follow convention very well, which probably is why I don't, as much as I really enjoy tangling and, and, and pattern making, I, I tempt, tempted so often to, to look into becoming a CZT um, I'm so much not into following the rules that I'm not sure I could completely embrace the whole Zentangle official philosophies. So I'm happy just doing this the way I'm doing things. For now. Besides that, CZT classes are not anywhere in my area. I would have to fly all the way across the country and it is expensive. So, oh, I'm off the screen again, darn it. You guys need to yell at me, tell me I'm off screen. Of course, we're not doing this live, so you have no opportunity to do that. I don't think I could handle, I, 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 hats off to those ladies who do live events because you need a team for that. You can't do it on your own. So you can't draw and watch the screen with comments and the chat room. You just can't. You have to be able to just draw and somebody else has to moderate your chat and I don't have anybody that can do that for me at the moment not that I don't have anybody who wouldn't want to do that for me it's just that they're not available when I'm available so recording is how it's going to be not sure I could handle the whole live thing anyway that's too much stress, at least with the recording. If it all goes completely south, I don't have to post it. So far, I've posted everything, even the things that went completely south, but you know, if they 
all go bad, I don't have to. And that gives me a little bit of freedom to feel like Like there's some outs, there's an option, there's always a way out. Oh, pardon me. My tummy just grumbled. Hope you couldn't hear that. Okay. And in these ones that I have some sort of visual issue, I'm going to put a dot and I'll put some of these little random like that. That kind of fills in the space and you, your eye doesn't really notice that there's no butterfly shape thingy there. I like that. I didn't think I would like that. I I really did not think I would like it. I, I, I thought, oh my goodness, what have I done? But I like it. Hmm, that's interesting. You never know. This is J-O-N-N-A. That's the name of this tangle. And I think I am going to shade it with a little bit of one of these metallic pencils in pink. Just going to do just a little bit right in here. What else does it need? When I step back, I've got to finish what I'm doing and then kind of step back and say, well, what else, what else does it need? Um, it needs, it needs, it needs no not really that was not what it needed uh, I don't like that let's see if I can get rid of it I might not be able to oh yeah okay it comes off okay um, not the purple lightly not all the way filled in this feels like a very bubbly happy kind of a thing here happening if I hadn't made this error over here I probably would have gone well maybe I still will I'll take my pencil I'm gonna go around each of these squares highlight the square even this funky one I 
Okay. We'll blend that out a little bit. It's like a quilt, this one. Very much like a quilt, I think. Well, most grid patterns, of course, could also be easily done as quilt patterns. Oh yeah, that's interesting. A little bit of, a little bit of gray, a little bit of pink, a little tiny splash of blue that's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's there. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Today's tingle is Joanna by Sandra Hoffner.